So I think what we do know is we know that there is a lot of overlap between um, obesity and type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's. So these are things such as we know that in both these conditions, uh, the way that glucose is um, used in the brain, for example, is, is changed. We know um, that in both these conditions, um, you can have an inflammatory profile in the brain. So this is where your immune cells are extremely active. Um, and in normal cases, that's a good thing because you need your immune systems to react to things, to go and do their job and sort it out. But when you get chronic inflammation, where this is happening all the time, this is when things can there can start to be problems developed because you don't want your immune system at a ramped up all the time. It's not good for it. Um, and so there's a lot of really interesting work in that area. There was a lot of in interesting work in particular um, presented at Air UK uh, 2023 on microglia, which are one of the immune cells um, of the brain. A lot of really interesting work looking at how actually microglia interact with synapses, which are the connection between neurons in the brain and how they might be responsible for some um, of the loss of synapses in um, dementia and Alzheimer's disease, um, but also how they're very important to be there in order to keep them functioning properly. So again, a, a lot of work to be untangled here. I think that's one thing that came out of the conference is there's a lot of further research to be done in these areas. Um, and yeah, as you mentioned, how, how does nutrition sort of play? And there's a lot of really interesting work actually looking at the gut. So we know that the gut, gut microbiota is really, really important for our, our health. And there's been a lot of um, interesting work in sort of looking at autoimmune diseases um, and how the gut plays in there. But actually in the, sort of the more recently, we're starting to understand that the gut and the brain actually have their own um, way of communicating with each other and that there might really be some interesting signs there to understand about how what we're eating and um, how our bacteria populations in our gut might actually be influencing our brain.